do we anticipate this is the foundation for really a, a renaissance in, in digital health that we're going to open up this data to this world of developers and a, in collaboration with health providers and, and even payers and just see a whole new set of applications? I, I, that, that's the promise of it, right? And do we anticipate that happening? Yeah, I think it's already happening. And I think it's going to really start you know, happening in exponential ways as we you know, start to see that ecosystem start to form. But I guess it, it's, a, it's an interesting question because on the one hand, fire is just a standard, right? So you would say it's just a standard. And we had HL7B2 and then we had CCD. Well, like, but, how could just a technical... Because my alternative is I have to go through... I have to go through this app store and I have to pay significant amounts of money. It's challenging. It's difficult. It's costly. Right. So, right, right, right. Yeah. And, and, and so you, you know, ask yourself, how could a technical standard when you, as you and I discussed before, this isn't a technical problem, right? It never was a technical problem. It's all about business and all of the issues related to business and about the socioeconomic climate of healthcare, not about, you know, the technical standards or lack of technical standards. But the reason that I think that fire itself actually is really important and we're starting to see that is, is a couple of things. One is that it's uh, very, it's really democratizing in a way because it is much more aligned with the West, with the way that the rest of the internet economy works. And so you don't have the, as I was describing before, developers, most of whom live outside of healthcare, right? As much as we like to think healthcare is the fulcrum of the universe, most of the internet and most developers live outside of healthcare. And any of them who looked at healthcare and thought about making a step or two into healthcare, like Google Health, early on, they had the patient portal at Google Health and one of the things, and then Microsoft Health Vault a little bit later. And one of the things they discovered in trying to work with CCDs, um, which were the state of the art, was, oh man, those are just like painful. That is just, it's healthcare specific, it's 1980s sort of technology, and I cannot get my new Stanford or MIT grad to agree to study a thousand page implementation guide of an XML standard. And they're just not gonna do that. There's no way in the world they're gonna do that. And so they, they just stayed out, right? They stayed outside on the periphery. And, and I think if we've learned nothing else from the internet, crowdsourcing is everything, right? The more eyeballs and the more people you have working on stuff, the greater the odds that really cool things are gonna come of it. And so it's democratizing in that way and that RESTful APIs are the way the rest of the internet economy works and it opens it up in that way.